everyone welcome back to the channel you are watching our cloud school where we are discussing various data integration scenarios and how do we resolve those scenarios with the help of data integration services like azure data factory today in this video we will discuss a scenario where we have multiple files or one or more files into a azure adls gen 2 storage account and we want to copy those files to our azure blob storage using azure data factory for the demonstration, I am going to create a ADLS Gen2 storage account in case if you want to know or in case if you are interested to know how do we create the Gen2 storage account in Azure portal. So let me switch to the let, so let me switch to the Azure portal and create an ADLS Gen2 storage account. So I've logged into Azure portal. This is my Azure portal subscription, and here I'm going to click on create new you can also click here on the create new option or create resource option that will launch the marketplace of azure portal and from there you can find the kind of service which you are looking for so i'm looking for a storage account which i've already saved into my favorites if you have not then you need to search with the keyword storage account azure adl storage accounts are a storage account but if they are a specific type of storage account if you read the description here use blob storage table storage queue files and data like gen2 storage account for reliable economical cloud storage so i'm going to define this storage account as in gen2 adls storage account so i'm going to click on this create button as in storage account type here like you always provide the information for your resources you have to provide your storage account information and if you click on this hint the name of the storage account whether it is a blob storage account or a deal gen2 storage account the restrictions are going to be same you have to provide a naming convention between 3 to 24 character and it should have only small cases no special characters allowed so let me just call it as an st ocs demo storage adls right let me see if the storage account name is already been taken or not so i'm going to remove this demo keyword so it's going to be ocs our cloud studio storage adls01 and let's have a look at the other configuration so the performance and redundancy is something which i'll be changing it to lrs because for the demonstration i'm not going to have a regrs or GRS rest of the configuration I'll be leaving as is because objective of the demonstration is not about the ADLS how do we provision and how do we protect the data with ADLS so as of now I'm just going to create the ADLS as is now one thing you have to remember while creating the ADLS type of storage account so this checkbox hierarchical namespace hierarchical namespace complete the data like complemented hierarchical namespace complemented by the data lake space data lake storage gen2 endpoint enable file and directory semantics accelerate the big data analytics workload and enable access to the SELS which means that if you would like to make your storage account to ADLS gen2 storage account so that it can be used by the data analytics or the big data queries then you have to enable this particular checkbox so i'm going to enable this checkbox and by enabling this checkbox your blob storage account becomes the gen2 storage account okay rest of the settings like network data protection i'm going to leave it as is i'm not going to make any changes so those are going to remain by default and next it's going to validate the changes let me click on the create button so that it creates the ADLS Gen2 storage account in the Azure portal. So our Gen2 storage account is successfully created. I will click on this go to resource and that will directly launch the Azure portal to the Gen2 storage account. So this is our Gen2 storage account. The difference what you have found from the gen2 storage account is on this particular property hierarchical namespace is enabled and this icon is slightly changed like container icon if you re refer the container icon of the blob storage is going to be slightly different than the container icon you have for the adls gen2 right 
Next, I'm going to click on the containers where I will define the container. So let's call create a container called input container. That is where we will place our files and we would like to copy the files from this storage account to the another storage account which is a block storage account. So I'll click on the upload button to upload the files which is going to be one or more files. I'll click on the browse file and from here I'm going to copy certain number of files. Let's copy these files. I'm going to copy the one or more different type of files. So let me just copy these. So our files are successfully copied or uploaded onto ADLS Gen2 input container. Next, I'll show you our storage account, which is a blob storage account where we would like to move this file from ADLS to this blob storage account. So this is the blob storage account. The name is ST OCS demo storage account. And here we have the output container, which is right now it's empty, it just has got this particular folder. So here we would like to copy all our files from ADLS to this blob story account and for that I'm going to use this ADF instance. So this is the ADF instance which we have created in our previous demonstration and that is where I'm going to define my pipeline activities to perform this copy action. To define a new pipeline I can click on this plus button or I can also click on these three dots. So let me just click on this plus button add new pipelines. I'm going to click on this pipeline option and that will open the canvas to create a pipeline so here in pipeline creation option what we can do is we can drag the copy data activity so it is the activity which will be helping me to copy your data from source location to a destination location now every activity in the pipeline or in any of your canvas you would require to perform certain number of configuration so here you have the configuration specified on the different tabs so general tab specified the configuration information about general information about your copy data activity which is the name description and some other settings next you have the source information which means that your copy data is requires to copy the data so where where is that source location and how your copy data is supposed to connect to that source location what kind of a data is your source location contains all those information you can specify with the help of data source or data source data set so data set are in the Azure pipeline are specific activities which you can configure which will help you providing the information about source and the destination locations and the data type or the data which you are dealing with on those source and the destination location. To choose the existing data set which you already might have it, you can find those data set here in this particular section. So all your data set will be available like this. If you would like to use the existing one, you can use it from this drop down. If you want to create a new one, you can create a new one from this plus new button or you can directly go to the data set option and from create from there as well. So let me just click on this create new option or add new option and that is where we will create a new data set. So there are different type of data set because data set, like I said, it defines the kind of a data you are dealing with and where your data is there basically that was that is what it is defined and that is why you have to specify the data store which you are supposed to dealing with as part of this data set so there are variety of different data store which are available with ads which you can configure it like you have the blob storage data source which is going to be our target data storage next you have the azure data lake gen 2 storage account which is the icon looks same because both of them are kind of a storage account it's just the hierarchical namespace is the difference so let me just select this azure data like data storage gen 2 i'm going to click on continue and as we are looking to copy the file from this data like gen 2 to this blob storage we have to specify the full file format if you are supposed to copy a specific file format or if you are supposed to deal with a specific file format then you have to choose that specific file format but suppose in our case we have variety of different file files which we would like to copy in that case selecting a specific file format like excel gs csv xml is not going to help and in that case we have to choose a special type of file format which will be treated as a binary file so no matter which kind of a file you use it is going to be treated as a binary so i'm going to choose the files format as in binary let's click on continue you have to specify the name of your data set i'm going to say binary source so binary source is my data source name link service is the 
connection information which you would tag to your data sets which means that using this link service your data set would be connected to the source location so we have already specified the link service in our previous videos i'll be using the existing link service but just in case if you would like to see the information about the link service which you are using you can click on this option and that will give you a complete detail about the source information where it's going to connect and what kind of a connectivity option it's going to use for in the well, it is going to connect with this storage account and it will use this storage account key for an example right so here we are going to specify the link service for that actually this link service is not for the adls gen 2 it is supposed to be a some other storage account so let me just click on new link service because i would like to connect to some different storage account which we have recently created so I'll, i'm going to click on this subscription option and from the subscription we'll be using this adl gen 2 storage account which is this one and that will load the key of this storage account and make sure this connectivity to the storage account is available i'm going to click on this text test connection and you would see that the connection is successful which means that my link service is successfully working before that i'm going to give it a name to the link service and i will call it as a adls source right let's click on create and that will help me connecting to this link service so with that our link service is successfully configured now you have to specify the source location within that storage account which is on this adl storage account so i'll be clicking on this browse option and that will launch all the containers within that adl storage account which in this case just one container which is input container and here it if I click on a specific container, it will launch all the files which we would like to copy. So in in case if you would like to copy any specific file, you can select that specific file and that will copy your in that case, your ADS, uh, your data set will always copy that particular file. But in our case, we would like to copy all the files. So I'm not going to select any of the files from this option. So I'll click on OK by without selecting any of the files, and you would see that the file path has got the name of the container there are no directory or file names are selected with that our data set is ready to be configured in the copy data activity so i'll be clicking on ok and you would see that we have our data set which is copied or configured correctly though there are some configuration changes which we need to make which i'll be coming back next so before that let's click on the sync that is where we have to specify another data set because in the scene course so we are saying that where is our target location and how do we would like to connect to this target location so our target location in our case is azure storage account so i'll be creating a new data set or i can use the existing data set as well but let me just create a new data set which is going to be azure block storage and i'll be using the binary again because we are expecting any type of file to be communicated so i'm going to call it as nds blob right oh, and i'm going to say copy and link service i'm going to use the existing link service option and then browse i'll be selecting the browse on which you would like to basically use the file to be copied actually this is not the link service i'm supposed to use so let me just create another link service here so i'm going to create a new link service let me just cancel it out link service new link service option i'm going to call it as an a block copy and that is what it's going to do select the azure subscription i'm going to use the same integration runtime which is the default integration runtime we'll be using this ocs demo storage account that is where we have our output container let me just click on the test connection so that it tests the connection let's create to click on create to create the new link service the link service is successfully created let me just call this data service as in block copy ocs target and with that i'm going to click on the browse option so that it can browse to the target storage account container which is the output and that is where we would like to copy the file to so let's click ok and that is where we would like to copy the file which is our destination storage account so copy behavior is something which you are going to select if you would like to but by default it will anyways preserve the hierarchy the way it should be now with that our pipelines are successfully ready uh, with this copy activity because in the pipeline we just need to copy the 
the activities or copy the data and that is the activity we is enough to perform the copy action. Now, if I'm going to validate my pipeline just to make sure that all the configuration which I have made so far is good enough or not, it says that it's validated. If I'm going to run it, run. So let me just have a look at the debug option just to make sure that whether it is working fine or not. So let me just click on the debug and let's see if that is going to work or not. Now, if, while it is running, it's going to open a new output tab and that is where it will create a new pipeline activity run ID and same activity run ID you can find it in the monitoring section under the pipeline option. So while it is running just to show you that these are the two this data set which we have created. So if I double click on this data set you would find that you have this option where we have specified the files is supposed to be copy and then you have the car target data set which is of which is targeting to a block storage instead of the ADLS type. So our copy data activity is successfully completed and if I just click on the browse on the on my output container so let me just select this or refresh it and you would see that all my files are successfully copied and without having any issues right. So that is it in this demonstration basically we have make sure that we are copying the files from this block storage which is this one to our target block storage which is this one so if i'm going to clean it up let me just clean the target one more time before i run our next run what i want to do with the next run is i would like to make sure that i will delete the file from the source once the copy activity is completed so i'm going to check this option which is delete file after the completion and that will basically clean up a file from the source location and it will move the file to the destination location let me just validate it again and then that way we'd be able to debug the pipeline so let me just run the pipeline successfully with a debug option and this time we are expecting a file movement but along with that the source container should be empty because we are going to copy or basically it's just a cut action uh, which we are we want to move the file from source to destination again our pipeline run id has been generated just to show you on the monitoring section here in the pipeline section you would be able to find all the pipeline which are running right now so let me just refresh it or maybe if i go to the debug option i should be able to see these two pipeline which are just now completed so if we go back to our configuration you would see that our pipeline is successfully completed which is this run id which means that if i refresh my output container again i should have all those files which are being copied and now this time if we go back to the input container or at the source location if we refresh it you would see you would see that all the blocks are deleted because of that option right that is it in this demonstration just to summarize we have learned how to copy the file from ADLS gen 2 storage account to azure block storage account and how do you perform the copy activities between these two you can also perform the same activity vice versa like copy the file from block storage to ADLS Gen 2 using the same activities just if the data source are going to source and sync are going to be swapped but the rest of the configuration will remain same. I hope you have found this useful if it is please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video.